All right, what's up, coach? Welcome back to my channel. Now, if you have missed some of the videos that I posted this week, I've been posting a video every single day, Monday through Friday, I think for the last six weeks, uh, maybe a little bit longer. And uh, go check out some of the other videos that I posted this week. I think those will be very helpful for you if you're wanting to really grow your business. I talk about a lot of mindset stuff that I, I feel like can absolutely help you, all right? So today, uh, this is something that I've been kind of waiting to talk about for a while, um, and it's a question that I get. Coaches that are new to business will always ask me this. They'll say, hey, Ben, what is better for me at the beginning? Is it um, learning how to be a better coach or learning how to be better at marketing and sales. And what I wanna to try to do is give you some insight on what I think you should focus on. And this way, I feel like in the future, your business is easier to run, right? Now, let me just get one thing straight here. If you are a bad coach or you lack knowledge in coaching, and you try to start a business, it's going to be very hard, no matter how good at marketing you are, right? If, if you're the best marketer in the world and you are a garbage coach, well, you're not gonna be able to hang on to clients for very long, right? So let's be very clear about that. So if you suck at coaching, your business is gonna suck, no matter how much money you have behind you running ads or, or how great you are at sales. Like, you have to be good at coaching right and long term to like really succeed in this business you have to be great at coaching right now that is the the first thing i want you to know you have to be great at coaching to have a long-term successful business i'm not talking about this side hustle thing like i get hit up all the time hey i want to like turn this into a side hustle and then like i just don't even text coaches back when they ask me that because i'm just like that's not what I do. I, I don't teach people how to do a side hustle where you make $500 a month. Uh, that's, that's not me, <laughs> right? So first is, as a coach, if you don't have knowledge or you don't have experience, then one thing I would tell you to do before you even start a business is go get knowledge, go get experience, go uh, be a volunteer coach, go work for a club or an AAU team, like go be a high school coach. Like there are so many, there are so many different opportunities within coaching that you could just like literally go do very quickly, like tomorrow if you wanted um, to gain experience. And from what I've seen, all right, the coaches who are knowledgeable, the ones who have experience, the ones who are confident in what they're doing, when they become business owners, it's easier because they're like, they already know what they're doing, right? And coaches who are newbies that like have never coached anyone in their life that try to start a business generally fail. I'm not going to say all the time, like, because I've worked with some people who have never coached in their life and they go on and have successful businesses, right? So there's a small select group of people that can do that. Most people can't, right? Most people just can't do that. All right, so need to learn coaching skills. You need to learn how to communicate. You need to learn how, like your craft. That, that's so important, all right? Now, what I will tell you though, if you know your craft, all right, and this is the difference, if you know your craft and you're really good at it and you don't know marketing and sales, then your business is always gonna be uh, limited. It will, it will always reach a peak and you'll never be able to surpass that peak because the inability to market, promote, and, and uh, sell, right? And this is why I always tell people, if you're great at what you do, you know the craft, you understand it, you get it. Like if you're a basketball coach, like you, you get basketball, you know how to help a kid get better. If you are in soccer and you know how to technically like develop players, if you are a uh, football coach and you're an amazing 
uh, mentor and coach, and, and you can coach kids that are quarterback or wide receiver or running back, whatever. Like If you get the coaching side of it, but we lack the marketing and sales side of it, your business is is going to reach a level and never beyond the, uh, and never go beyond that level. And how do I know that? It's because I've already been there with my business. There was a time where I was like, gosh, like I get I know how to train kids. I know how to do this. But I'm not able to grow my business because I was waiting for leads. Uh, I wasn't proactive getting referrals. I wasn't proactive with any marketing. And I was scared to sell. And I thought I sucked at selling because I didn't do it often. I didn't, didn't get my reps in. Um, and so if you're great at what you do, but you cannot uh, sell, you can't promote yourself, then your business will only go so far. And that's just, that's just the facts. It's like that with anything, right? It's like that with anything. So my advice to someone who's great at what they do, right? You get it. You know how to train kids, like, which I can't say is a, is a super difficult skill to learn. Like that a lot of it just comes down to experience, right? And just doing it and then learning, right? Um, and there's so many free resources on YouTube now. I mean, you, you could learn how to do any drill on YouTube for free, which is crazy. That's awesome. Um, if you have those skills though, I would tell you straight up, if we were on a call right now and you're like, yeah, like, you know, Ben, what, what should I be focusing on now? I would say marketing and sales and your coaching that you do is going to evolve and continue to get better and better, but it gets better when you take on more clients because now you're getting more experience and you only get more clients when you market, sell, and promote your program, right? And this is the, this is the way I look at it too. You could take someone, you could take two people, all right? One is, is uh, pretty good at coaching. They're great at marketing though. They're awesome at marketing, they're awesome at sales. And you have someone who, this other guy, you have someone who's awesome at coaching. He's like a genius, knows everything, but he doesn't like to market and sell and promote what he does. The guy who's like pretty good at coaching, that's great at marketing and sales, is going to absolutely crush this guy who's a better coach. Like on paper, this guy over here who's a better coach is going to get absolutely trampled by the guy who's a better marketer, right? And that's just how life works. And I hate to make it that blunt, but that's how it is. This is how it is in, in this business. Like the best marketers that are good and great coaches will always be the best. They'll always have the most clients. They'll always have clients who stay with them long term, right? People who are afraid to sell, they'll reach a limit. And typically what happens is when coaches reach that limit, they they do one of two things. They either are just like, "All right, well, this is the best I'll do." And they had and they go into this turtle mindset that I call where it's like, all right, well, I'm good. I'm I, this is the best I can do, and I can't go any, I can't go anywhere beyond what I'm doing now, right? Which is a limited mindset, right? Um, and that would be like you telling one of the kids that you work with that this is the best you can get. You cannot go beyond this, which is crazy to me. Like that, that's crazy talk, right? So coaches either do that, they go into turtle mindset, right? Or they're like, all right. I know how to do this. I need to learn marketing and sales. I need to like, maybe I need to change my pricing. Maybe I need to change how I get paid. Maybe I need to change how long clients stay with me, right? And when coaches make those tweaks, their business gets so much better, right? And only when you become better at marketing and sales. And the only way to do that is by learning and getting in the trenches. Like you can read all the books that you want. Like I have books on marketing and sales. Uh, they're right there, right? I read those, but like, I don't just look at them and like, oh, that's a good idea. Like I, I execute what's in there and I tweak it until it works, <laughs> right? So I hope this video helps. Um, you know, you could be the best coach in, you know, on the planet, best coach in your area. No one knows about you. 
no one cares about you, all right? And that doesn't mean you need to be this Hollywood superstar on the internet. That, that, I'm not saying that either. Like, you don't have to have this huge following on social media. Like, some coaches that I work with don't even use social media, and they, they're just absolutely crushing it with their business, ma- making more than $100,000 per year, right? So uh, that's all I got for you today. Have an awesome weekend. Um, I know today's Friday when I'm filming this. So uh, if you want more business help, go check out my website, uh, buildmysportsbiz.com. I have a button at the top of that page. Um, you can check out what we have and schedule time to chat with me. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, if you wanted my help, like the way I am in this video is, is the way I am when you join my program. I'm to the point. Um, I don't make things sound good, right? I like to like actually help people grow what they do. And by, you know, laying out the fundamentals with business that's that's normally the thing that people skip right so that's why i i know in this video like again you could be the best coach in the world and not have any clients and ultimately that's that's no one else's fault other than yours because you haven't spent the time learning marketing and sales which in my mind it's the, the best possible skill any coach can have is because when you have that like Anything could happen in your city. If you had to pick up and move tomorrow, you know you could go get clients. And having that level of confidence within your business is unstoppable and it's unbreakable. All right, that's it. Got to go. Have a great weekend and I'll see you later.